uh, Ekaterina Pregara. I work for a company called JetBrains. We are making tools for developers, including IntelliJ IDEA, ReSharper, as well as Kotlin, uh, the programming language. And I work uh, as a product marketing manager on the WebStorm team. We are making an IDE for JavaScript and TypeScript developers. Uh, so what I want to uh, talk today about is actually testing with Jest and how you can do that in WebStorm. So Jest is a testing platform developed by uh, Facebook. It works really great uh, with the React application. It supports JavaScript and TypeScript as well. But what I really like about it is how easy it is to set up and how many features are available right out of the box. For example, the watch mode, snapshot testing, uh, coverage reports. You can learn more about that on the Jest official website. The docs are really great. So let's um, see um, how it all works in the real life. I have a very simple application here, just uh, two functions, basically one adds two numbers, uh, another divides uh, one number by another, and I have a bunch of tests written. And all I have here is just uh, Jest installed and Babel because I'm using um, ECMAScript 6 imports and exports. No configuration file, nothing. Uh, so as in many other testing uh, frameworks, uh, the tests can be grouped into uh, suits, uh, which can be run individually. Um, we can do that with the describe function. Uh, each test starts with the test function, which can be ls to it. And then we have the expect function, which basically um, allows us to test the uh, value of some expression. So let's uh, run the first um, suit that we have. Uh, so we can do that basically by clicking on the icon next to that. Um, everything has passed. We see our tests uh, listed here. We can quickly jump to the test or just start uh, typing here to filter the test results. Another way to navigate around test files in WebStorm would be to use the structure view. It will show you the list of all test suits and files defined in the currently open project. And also, if you use the go to symbol here, you can also start typing the test name and jump to that straight away. So um, let's fail a test and see um, how the test status actually changes in the editor. Uh, so this little icon here on the left shows that the test has failed. And once we fixed that, uh, we can use um, test um, run uh, fail tests action to, re to rerun only specifically this set of tests which is good if we have hundreds of them and we don't want to run the whole test suite uh, that we have. If we do want to run all test files in our project, we can create a new Jest configuration and select all tests here. And um, I've mentioned the watch mode that Jest offers. Uh, we can enable that by adding the option watch. And as soon as we run our tests, and then make any changes to a test file, or just add a new test, or actually change any, anything in, in our source code, um, Jest will spot that and automatically rerun the, uh, the tests. So we don't have to worry about that. And yeah, no um, additional configuration, nothing, just passing the uh, watch option to Jest CLI. Uh, so, um, now let's uh, investigate why this uh, test is actually failing. So, what we can see in the output from Jest is that there is some type mismatch and it was expecting number but received string. Let's um, actually double check that and debug this test. So, we just put a breakpoint, start the debug session, and once it's hit, we can actually step into the uh, divide fu function from here and then step through the code to this uh, line of code. And let's now 
see what actually is um, the returned value here. So it looks like a string. Let's use um, type of and check that again. Right. So all we basically have to do is um, wrap it with the number function and then we run the tests. Uh, and it should be now uh, nice and green. Um, another feature that I've mentioned um, that is available in Jest is the code coverage reports. With code coverage re report, we can actually see uh, what lines uh, in the source code were covered with tests. Uh, so for that, all we do is just um, start our file um, with coverage. Uh, so we test. Uh, so we pass the coverage option to um, just CLI, and here we see a report that only 83% um, of lines were covered in uh, our source file, and this line uh, this line wasn't covered. So let's test this condition and add another test, which I actually have here. And now when we rerun the coverage we will see that we have 100% of code covered. That's cool. Um, so, and one last but not the least feature that I want to show is uh, snapshot testing. Uh, so here I have a bigger project that is, uh, uses React as well as Enzyme that helps um, to make it even smoother. Um, so traditionally snapshot testing is based on the uh, UI screenshot. So you take a screenshot of the UI as it should be, and then uh, you test against that um, correct uh, UI and see if something has changed uh, after you made or introduced some changes. In just to make it faster and simpler, instead of real screenshots, there are special uh, snap files that have a um, text representation of your React uh, uh, DOM tree. Uh, so for example, here is our drop zone component. Here we have um, information about its um, attributes and uh, content, everything. So let's see, like the snapshot is created automatically by Jest as soon as you add to match snapshot uh, method and run test for the first time. So, for example, if we here introduce um, a different class name, or the change could actually obviously be made in the source code, and then we rerun our tests, we will see that this test, snapshot test has failed because the um, snapshot no longer matches what we has uh, actually rendered. So here we can see, oh, oh, sorry. So here we can see the, let's try that again. So here we can actually see the difference between the snapshot and um, what we have received when rendered the component. And if the change was actually made intentionally, we can then update the screen, uh, the snapshot and then commit that to version control. Yeah, so that's basically it. If you want to learn more about Jest, uh, visit its official website. The docs are really great. There are lots of examples. Um, and if you want to learn more about using Jest and WebStorm, uh, follow this link. Thank you very much.